apartment in Minnesota and then he broke both of his arms <laughs> Just, it was a fucking big deal I had to drop out of school I had to quit my job and everything a lot of Wiley helping me go to the bathroom and feeding me and wash my clothes and driving me to school there was so many things so right before that like a week or two before that I just quit drinking completely um, I was drinking like four hundred dollars worth of alcohol a week and I just, one day, just got so drunk and I slept for like a whole day. And I just never drank again after that. And so I just quit cold turkey and I just, still to this day, like I'll have a beer at dinner, but I used to never be able to control myself like that. I used to just have to get so drunk. So I just quit drinking like a week or two before that. I just went on a crazy Xanax bend like a week or a couple of days before really? that. Oh yeah, was that the Nick Jonas concert? Yeah, and I was like on a crazy, I took way too many Xanax. And so I just don't remember that day at all. And so it was a couple of things that could have caused that seizure. Um, but then yeah, I was driving to meet my parents down in where I grew up for my birthday dinner. They were taking me out to dinner. And I just get there, I sit down, we're ordering our food and then I just have a seizure. I'm relaxed for a minute, then I'm gonna go shower, and then I'm gonna go run some errands and pick up some special prizes for Wiley for Valentine's Day. I was on like six different antidepressants at that time, and then I still, nothing was working because fucking antidepressants don't work. And so then they added another one to it, and my doctor is just like fucking writing scripts like it's nothing. And then uh, that new one that he added to it, uh, when I went back after I had the seizure, he said it could have caused it as well. So there was multiple things that could have caused that seizure. I tried to stay in school for as long as I could. Oh, I was dropping you off at class. Yeah, dude. he was driving me to school and, and dropping me off and picking me up. And I mean, I don't know if some of you guys are probably in college. You know, like college class schedules aren't normal. So it's like I might have had one class at 8 a.m. and then one at noon and then one at 5. And so like while he was dropping me off and picking me up and... I had professors offering to like take me home and bring me to school and parents. It took you fucking forever to meet my parents. And they're awesome. And so then we went to all these casinos and that was like a big part of our relationship. We broke up after one casino trip. Then we got back together like a week later. Oh, it was that September. We started to think about moving to Los Angeles. We made a whole documentary. I don't even need to talk about it. You guys know what happened. Now we're cleaning up the rest of the room. Got to me really fast. All we have to do is like just enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I'm trying to dry this so it doesn't look like it's impeded. We ended up coming here after like a month on the road. That guy was right in Long Beach. We bought Axel? We didn't buy Axel, we rescued Axel. You can't just buy an animal. You can. <laughs> That's a happy Wiley dance. We are going to do something that we've been wanting to do for a long time. But we couldn't do it in our last apartment because of restrictions. What is that, Wiley? <laughs> We're gonna get a puppy! You think this is the one? Yeah, that's the one you want. Oh, he's already mommy. going at the shoelaces. <laughs> And he rode home on my little, you know, on my little <laughs> neck the whole way. You should put the photo in there. Say hello to Axel, my friend. Say hello, Say hello to Axel. Man, having a dog was a learning experience for both of us. I don't regret ever going there. I, I, we had a great time in San Francisco. We had a great time in uh, Pismo Beach. You come back tonight. Will you hold me so I will build us a home. Certain things that were just stressing me out. We've had a little bit of a stressful journey so far, would you say? Tyler's tailor made for me right now. Like, you know exactly what I like and don't well, like. Well, same with you. Like, you, we don't even have to talk when we do anything. Like, if we go to the grocery store, I know what you want, you know what I want. And I don't think we've purposefully done this, but I think the past three Valentine's Days that we've had together have all been us reminiscing 
and about our relationship and building on what we've learned from that previous year and and growing and moving on together from it. Oh, this YouTube channel has been the greatest thing in my life. And it allows us to communicate with such wonderful people everywhere who may be still living in the closet or maybe dealing with the issues that they don't have anyone else to talk to about. Look back, reflect, and learn from your past. And enjoy the rest of the year. Happy Valentine's Day 2017. Peace. In 2017, man. That's weird. Peace. Love. Hey. The Wild Away. Woo!